Hello there, my name is Veena Prashant. I'm the co-founder of digitalaccesspass.com and the founder of smartpaycard.com. Uh, today I'm very happy to introduce to you a brand new feature that we have added to SmartPayCard is the ability to pause and resume subscriptions. So say that you sell a subscription product and a customer purchases from you, but a few months later they contact you and say that I'm not ready to use this yet. Uh, can you put my subscription on hold, on pause, and uh, I would like to start with it again in a couple of months when I'm ready. All you have to do is visit SPC Manage Subscriptions page, find the customer, and you will find a pause button next to their subscription. Now, if it's a subscription product, then the pause button is only going to show up for the very first transaction uh, in that series of subscription. So the pause button is not going to show up for every recurring payment, but only for the very first uh, initial payment, uh, initial purchase of the subscription. Uh, so you can just enter the email here. It will show you all the transactions, all the recurring payments for that, for that uh, subscriber and uh, look for the pause button. Uh, it's going to show up uh, next to the very first purchase uh, made by that customer. All you have to do is click on this pause and uh, if you pause the subscription, then they are not going to be billed again until they are ready. So whenever they are ready, you can reactivate the subscription. And if the subscription is paused, you're going to see that the pause button will automatically change to resume so that if you want to resume uh, their subscription, all you have to do is again click on it and it's going to say, are you ready now to resume the subscription? Just say yes and uh, they are going to be billed again. Uh, from the next billing cycle. Okay, so I'm going to start by giving you a specific example because I think uh, uh, if you take a look at this, it's going to be clear to you how pause and resume uh, is going to work. So say that you have a new subscriber. The subscriber signed up on uh, February 1st. And uh, when the subscriber signed up, if you look at DAP, you're going to see that their access start date is going to be set to February 1st because that's when they signed up and the access end date is going to be set to March 1st. Uh, that's when DAP is expecting the next payment to come in. And uh, everything was going fine, and they made the next payment on 3-1, so their new access date uh, is going to be 4-1, April 1st, because they already made the payment for March. Now say that on March 22nd, they contact you, and they say that, could you please put my subscription on hold, uh, because I have some issues currently, and I won't be able to make the next payment, and uh, so please put this on hold and I will get back to you when I'm ready to resume my subscription. So now what you can do is uh, you can go to SPC and you can just click on the pause button for this subscription and it's going to pause their subscription. So what happens when it's paused? All you see is uh, the status is going to show up as paused uh, in the Manage Orders page, in DAP, as well as in SPC Manage Subscriptions page. You're going to see the status is going to say paused. And the access end date will remain 4-1 because they have already paid up to 4-1, so nothing happens there. Access start date remains February 1st. And their subscription in PayPal or Stripe, uh, however they signed up, it's going to be uh, paused. The way it works with PayPal is different from the way it works with Stripe. So say that they signed up using Stripe, uh, then when they ask you to pause it, and if you click on the pause button in SPC, SPC is simply going to cancel their subscription. That's because Stripe does not have a pause feature. SPC is going to go ahead and cancel their subscription. And so if you log into your Stripe account, uh, don't get confused because the subscription is going to say uh, canceled or it's going to be removed from the user's account. So the user will no longer be subscribed to the plan in Stripe. And that's fine. That's how it's supposed to work. But if the subscriber signed up using PayPal, it's going to be different because PayPal supports a suspend and reactivate API. So in that case, what will happen is if you log into PayPal and see the subscription on 322, after you pause uh, the subscription in uh, SPC, the subscription status is going to say uh, suspended in PayPal. That's the way it's supposed to work. So their subscription is now suspended. Uh, they are no longer going to be billed again. So come for one, that will be the last day they can access the content because they have paid up, up to April 1st. So say that they contact you again, but this time on April 25th to resume their paused subscription. All you have to do is you have to log into SPC and uh, you just have to click on the resume button next to their subscription. And that's it. What will happen then, they're resuming on 425. At this point, their access end date was set to 41. They made the first payment on 21. The next payment due was 31. After that, it was 41. Uh, and then the next one, if everything was going okay and if they had not paused or suspended, then it would have been 51. So when they resume, uh, even though they're resuming on 425, uh, when we tell PayPal to reactivate their subscription, PayPal is not going to charge them until 5-1 because that's the next expected due date if it was not paused. 
So on 5.1, going, they are going to be charged again. So what will happen when you click on the SPC resume button is that SPC will extend their access now. So they are going to receive access up to 5.1. That's because that's the next billing date. So we don't want them to be locked up anymore because their uh, subscription has resumed. SPC will extend their access uh, to 5.1. So if you log into DAP after you resume, you're going to see that their access end date is going to change from 4.1 to 5.1. And uh, they are going to be billed uh, by PayPal on 5.1 because that's the next billing date. And from there on, everything should work as expected. Now, as far as Stripe is concerned, uh, when they resume on 4.25, uh, SPC is going to send a notification to Stripe to basically reattach the plan uh, to the customer account. As soon as you hit the resume button in SPC Manage Subscriptions page, uh, SPC will let uh, Stripe know uh, to reactivate their account, uh, to reactivate their subscription, and basically the plan will be reattached uh, to the customer account. Also, one more important thing is that, say that they had used a coupon uh, while they signed up uh, for the subscription, when they resume, uh, the same coupon will be applied again. So say that it was a recurring coupon where you were giving them discount month after month, but they paused for whatever reason. When they resume it, the same coupon will be reapplied to them. So they will continue to receive uh, that discount. So this is how you can pause and resume subscriptions as an admin uh, from the SPC Manage Subscriptions page. Just click on the pause or resume button to pause or resume subscriptions. So I'll be doing a different video where I'll show you how you can allow your users to uh, pause and resume subscriptions themselves. That feature is not there yet, but it'll be there soon. And I'll be releasing a video where I'll explain how you can allow your members to do it, uh, do the pause and resume themselves uh, in that video. So stay tuned for that. My name is Veena Prashant. Thanks for watching.